Elizabeth and we're here tonight and we're going to be talking about portion control and you know how quickly you can lose sight of portions it, it happens to everybody I'm telling you right now last night I made the healthiest dinner I made uh, cod with a uh, horseradish sauce and uh, roasted asparagus with Parmesan cheese mm -hmm. oh my goodness it was just delicious just a delicious dinner and I the night before, I'd had a little potato like this, and I sort of sliced it up after I put it in the microwave oven. I sliced it and put chives, salt, pepper, and, you know, baked them until they got nice and crispy, a little bit like Cape Cod potato chips, mm. but not Cape Cod, right? <laughs> and, um, the, uh, and I said to myself, well, I'm not going to use one of those little potatoes. I'm going to use one of those big potatoes mm. tonight because they, really, they were really good. And so I cut the, little, the big potato up after I microwaved it. And honestly, it was way too many potatoes. But I still ate it. And when I was looking at the, you know, see right on either side of me, you can see the potato and the mouse. You guys can't actually see it, but I can. There's, a, there's potatoes, and it's only the size of a mouse is what 110 calories is. So my potato last night was like 220 calories. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's... That's the computer mouse, right? Not a real mouse. No, not a real <laughs> mouse, yes. <laughs> Robert had to come out of the thing just to make a joke. <laughs> that he's going to be on our new show called Our Current Thinking, and then he can do all the talking he wants. But anyway, as it turned out, it's like 220 calories for just the potato. Oh, wow. When it could have been 110, and I would have been still as happy. I had too much food on my plate. It was really piled on. But it was the potatoes more than, you know, I mean, the asparagus and the cod were like so low in yeah, cal 200 calories for both of them together, really. It was very low. And then you add this big old potato, which you just don't need. And I find that happens to me um, more on the weekends, but this was a weeknight which killed me. Do you find that happen? All of a sudden you're sneaking an extra pork yeah. chop. Yeah, the yeah. weekends are the toughest for me. Yeah, the weekends are the toughest. What about you, Amy? Think? Week, uh, the weakest is the weekend because you just seem like you could grab everything you can get your hands on because you're home and you go in the yeah. cabinet, you go here, you go there, and before you know it, keep picking. Yeah, I think that's the reason for writing it down. Strictly yeah. that reason right there. So. What I wanted to do was talk about what are, what are ways to control your portions. Let's face it, you need 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day to lose weight. To stay exactly are you, as you are right now, you probably need about 2,000 calories. So if you're writing it down, you will know. I used to add all the calories, 1,200 for the week, and write down the 80, what is that, 84 hundred calories for the week then I would start taking them off as I went mm -hmm. along which is really horrible because by the time Friday <laughs> comes you're looking and you're going you know three days into what <laughs> <laughs> you know on the weekend 3400 calories no that's not good so if I'm happy if I'm okay with that and I'm not going to be upset that I didn't lose weight which lots of times I did not um, then that's the way it is. But if I'm going to be all mad at myself and all, you know, upset, then I have to start looking early on in the week to really keep it at 1,200 so that I don't totally mess up. Mm. But you, you know, you could get a, have up to 1,500 a day and still lose weight. It just will be slower. Mm -hmm. And I think that's okay. Okay, so let's look at how you can control your portions. Never eat from a box or a bag. Never eat from, what's good in a bag? 
I mean, yeah, if you can, if you get fruits or vegetables in a bag, that's what I got today. <laughs> well, you could get fruits or vegetables in a bag. Yeah, I'm not talking about that, <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're not in trouble because of fruit and vegetables. Oh. But um, there's no, what's in a box that you can actually eat that's not that's good for you. Cookies. I, cookies. <laughs> yes, yes. Cookies are good for you. <laughs> Yeah, I know. N almost anything in a box is processed food. Mm -hmm. I mean, pasta, but, you know, when you're looking at pasta, it's 220 calories for a cup. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's not very much pasta. No. I was thinking, though, what if you had that cup of pasta, like angel hair pasta, mm -hmm. and you mixed it with the sp spaghetti squash? Oh, yeah, that's pasta. a good idea. Like that, like, and then you mix them together. Yeah. So you had sort of a combination, because really the spaghetti sauce will, I mean the spaghetti squash, it's really hard to say that, <laughs> the spaghetti squash will add very, very little uh, calories, yeah. but you will still have that whole thing like you're having mm -hmm. a big pile of p pasta. So, and apparently that's what we need. Like my plate yesterday, I was on a small plate and it was still overloaded. Sometimes you just have nights like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, or a bag. You know, what comes in a bag? Potato chips. Potato chips. <laughs> you know, now one of the ladies told me she likes to, see, because we're not giving up everything that we really like. I mean, we know that there are things we like, and we're not going to give them up. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people it's pizza, some people it's cheeseburgers, some people it's, what don't you, well, won't, won't, anything you won't give up? Pasta. Pasta, you won't give it up, of course. Anything? Pasta for me. So pasta is one of the biggest ones there. We just have to find a way, but you could do it that way. Mm -hmm. And you know, I would be willing to bet with the right sauce, nobody in your family would probably even notice. Probably. Stunningly, this is true. One of the girls this morning actually made the spaghetti squash for her husband and their dinner one night, and he thought it was the most delicious thing, and he wanted oh. seconds on that. So, you know, you never know unless you try it. Have some pasta on the side, or if your husband cooks, tell him to put some pasta on the side, and then if he doesn't like it, then fine. You know, but isn't, if you don't try it, it's like the almond milk. I t it took me a year to buy almond milk, and finally I got it, and now I love it. And you know, with the colder weather coming on, you really, really, really want to use almond milk in your oatmeal. Mm -hmm. It makes it very creamy, like you're having something very serious for breakfast. Okay, so cereal comes in a box. Uh, and our, our favorite is either Fiber One, Special K. Those are the ones that are lowest in calories. Even Cheerios aren't that bad. No. No, so if you look at these, you'll be very surprised at the cap. And they're never, it's never just one cup. It's never, not on one, I bet you could go through the entire cereal aisle and not find more than three cereals that are the same measurements. It's two thirds, it's one yeah. quarter, it's three quarters, <laughs> it's seven eighths. It's ridiculous. There's no uniformity. And I am convinced that this is on purpose. So, how about keeping healthy snacks and options in sight and on hand? That's a good idea. Right? Yeah. And don't buy unhealthy ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to buy unhealthy snacks that you cannot tell me. And this is what they all say. Oh, it's for the grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We know who it's for. <laughs> we, you know what I mean? Because do you think your grandkids need Oreos? No. Yeah, right. They don't they need don't Oreos. They're honestly probably just poison. And now they've moved to Mexico, just to let you know. <laughs> so we can, we can never have Oreos again, because they left like Michigan. Did you know that? No. Yeah, I that probably that. would be a better subject for just our current thinking. <laughs> 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 but I, I heard that. I mean, I should probably look that up before I just spew it out. But... Um, but you don't need all that stuff. But you want to have stuff for your kids, your grandkids or your kids. Why not just have popcorn and... Popcorn and is very good. Yeah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And it, it, go, it really goes a long way. You get a good bang for your buck with popcorn, okay. especially if you make it yourself and mm, you don't buy I the do. bags. Because you could buy this gigantic bag for like $3.00 and it lasts you forever. Mm -hmm. And I make popcorn probably five times a week. Mm 
Yeah, I mean, especially when the colder weather comes, I, I like popcorn. Yeah, well, you know, it gets a little stale in the summer. Yeah, and not only that, in the summer, I kind of rather have watermelon. Or watermelon, yeah, I can't cut any more watermelon. Yeah, I, I said that I last it. week. I just can't cut another watermelon. Uh -huh. I, 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 and I'm not buying it cut up. You know, no, I, I don't buy. It I don't buy it cut up, and you know, even within the containers. So you buy that little container, the quart size, I guess, or whatever. Oh, it's like yeah. six, seven dollars. Yeah, I always did. Who cut that? Where did they cut it? Right. And they're always putting a preservative up on it. Right. My popcorn doesn't. I mean, my watermelon doesn't last like more than a week in the refrigerator. No, so when I look at the look at yeah. your, you have to look at these labels and these dates. Mm -hmm. And you look at the date, and it says it's good for two weeks. What did they put on <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Right? I I and I don't think it tastes as good. Did you ever buy one of those fruit platters that with the dipping sauce mm -hmm. in the middle? Yeah. Do you ever notice how that fruit tastes? Yeah, it doesn't last that long. You have to eat it pretty quick. No, it doesn't It doesn't last that long, but it has a, like, uh, acidy taste. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that is, so I'm, I'm pretty sure they're just <laughs> putting poison on it. So. That's what I tell myself. And then I, you know, so all summer I've been cutting up watermelon, but I really had it with it. I yeah. just, I can't do it anymore. Okay, use vegetables to fill up your plate. That is really good with that broccoli with the Parmesan mm -hmm. cheese or the asparagus mm -hmm. with That's the Parmesan. Really good. It's really delicious. You know, you just don't know that how good that is. And then you have it. And you're like going, yeah, why aren't I eating this every day? <laughs> and the other thing is, let's say you make a head of broccoli or you use the steam in a bag. That's one of the things I will buy in a bag. When you have, you'll have leftover broccoli. That's when you can make those little egg muffins. Yeah. You put broccoli into the, the muffin tins and then you pour the egg mixture, like scrambled egg mixture on it. And then you could put a little Parmesan cheese on the top and then you have it. Mm -hmm. You bake that, and then you have that for breakfast in the morning, and it's delicious. Or lunch. Mm -hmm. That would have been a good one for you to be taking, yes. but now we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but that would have been a good thing for you to be bringing yeah. with you to your desk because, um, you know, it would be very filling, and you yeah. wouldn't have that 3 o'clock lull. So, um, so eating vegetables is, you know what? I know we've been, your, parent, your mother was right. Eat your vegetables, yes, right. except for peas and corn. Those you have to be really careful about. Mm -hmm. Even potatoes are really good for you. Mm -hmm. So, and Brussels sprouts, delicious, I cabbage, it's all good for you. Are you saying peas and carrots are high? They're, yeah, they're higher in calories and they're high in carbs. You know, if you're, uh, they're on the bottom end of the good vegetables. Broccoli, spinach, Brussels sprouts, mm cauliflower. I usually buy snap peas. Yeah, I think that's a little bit different. I mean, there's still a like, has, because it's got the peas inside, but I think that would be less calories than, you know, if you, when you have peas, just peas, mm -hmm. you have, say, a half a cup of peas. Mm -hmm. But if you have snap peas, then you have a lot less than a half a cup of peas. You just, you know, you have the whole thing. Yeah. So I don't think that would be the same. That should be good for you, but you can look up the calories right on your phone or your computer in five seconds. We'll do it at the end of the meeting. I'll do it for you. Um, so w don't you think that's a good idea? Like even if I'm having, let's say I'm having a piece of salmon and I don't really have a lot of, I don't have a vegetable I want or I didn't buy a sweet potato, I will put green, you know, mixed greens salad mm -hmm. on the bottom with maybe some tomatoes, lettuce, onions, you know, all, you know, salad pretty much. And then I'll just put the salmon right on the top of it. Oh, yeah. It's really good. And it's very filling. You have no idea how filling salmon is. Do you eat fish? I do, but yeah. I don't eat salmon. <laughs> yeah, it's real. I don't like salmon either. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, stunningly. Okay, here we go with the old one. Know how big your bowl or plate is. Now, I could say this about the small plate all day long. I didn't do it last night myself. So I'm really honest. This could be such a hypocrite sometimes. But you know, when we were growing up, the inside of the plate was like our cake plates now. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how they you were know, always they were, big? Huh? We always had big plates. Yeah, and but inside. And bowls. 
Yeah, and bowls for spaghetti and stuff. And bowls, absolutely, for <laughs> spaghetti. But as a kid, did you have any weight on you? Always. Always. So you are turning over whole brand new leaf mm -hmm. now. Yep. Oh, that's wonderful. I am thrilled to hear that. Because that was my problem my whole life. I was overweight. I was the heaviest girl in school, the tallest girl in school. Oh, yeah. There wasn't anyone heavier to me. And honestly, I wasn't that heavy in school. But, you know, Twiggy was the rage. <laughs> oh, I'm really dating myself. <laughs> and I actually have a little Twiggy hairstyle because you can't see the beautiful thing that my hairdresser did. Oh, how oh, nice. nice. Yeah. I don't know if you could see that when I turned my head around, but at any rate, it looks really pretty back there. <laughs> but, okay. So, um, how about focus on the meals? No TV, no laptop. You know, I know you guys eat together at night. Do you, mm -hmm. get, do you all eat together at night? Yep. Yeah. See, that's really, really nice. But a lot of people do not. Like, no. we don't do that. But what I'm telling my grandmothers and my moms, whose kids have moved away, and they want to talk, well, just set your computer up and go on Skype and mm -hmm. have dinner with, you know, dinner and a, and a conversation with your loved one. That you know you might not get to see and this is something you could do once a week yeah. and you know for other people who don't you know actually sit at the table and don't or don't have anyone to eat with it's really nice if you could like I could easily Skype with my uh, our face chat or any of that with my girlfriend in California mm -hmm. and have dinner and both of us talk except that she eats so fast that she'd be saying okay talk to you later <laughs> <laughs> I would not have three bites in my mouth and she would be done. <laughs> so no news at dinner time. There's nothing worse than watching the news at dinner time. I'm going to say that until I draw my last <laughs> breath because honestly, people really need to stop watching the news during dinner because it's depressing. It is depressing. Now, I sort of don't mind. If you are alone, maybe you might want to play a game on your... Um, a quiet game, not what is that? Birds, what is that? Angry birds. Angry birds or Candy Crush, you know, anything with yeah. a lot of noise or anything. But I would play Scrabble or I'd some. I play Scrabble. Yeah, yeah, I would play Scrabble. Or words with friends I play. Right, exactly. See what I'm, this is exactly what, because that's relaxing. You're thinking, you're concentrating, yeah. but we love our food. So why aren't we concentrating on our food and our plate? and enjoying every single morsel that goes in. Because if you don't do that, before you know it, you look down and your plate is empty. Mm -hmm. And you didn't even get to enjoy the last bite. Especially when you're watching the news and you're going, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you're so upset. You just don't even know, you, you thinking that maybe this is, there's no reason in this world why you should ever, ever have to lose a pound ever again or think about it but you know what we have to what we were talking last week about and i want to just repeat that we kind of have to be in the moment you know i mean our lives are precious and so <laughs> if you don't enjoy the moment right. you know like maybe a moment with your daughter or a moment mm -hmm. with your kids or you know or your grandkids whatever the right. deal is you have to really and not be you know sidelined by that Right. by whatever's going on around you. You have no control over most things anyway. So isn't that, isn't that an uplifting thought? <laughs> okay. When you're craving something, you should go buy it. Let's say you just have to have a Snickers bar. If you are willing to get in the car and go buy it, I say you should have it. I mean, it's 200 and like 40 calories for a Snickers bar. That's a lot of calories out of your 12 to 1500. But if you are willing to get in your car, my girlfriend was willing to get into her car to go buy a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? She knew there was a snowstorm coming and she was <laughs> not getting stuck with three kids in the house and no wine. <laughs> that made me laugh really hard That's about funny. that. It is funny. Not that she drinks her, you know, it's not taking care of her kids or anything like that. But, you know, she just knew that three days in the house with the kids and mm -hmm. no wine was not going to be a good right. plan. <laughs> so how about leaving the serving bowls in the kitchen? Can you do that? 
really honestly, you should be not cooking enough for there to be leftovers. True. Or you should be plating whatever's left over for the next day and put it right in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Because unless your uh, you know, spouses or boyfriends, girlfriends, or whatever the story is, is used to going back for seconds, and that's their deal, that's on them, I would put the food right away. You made your plate, you made your bed, now sleep in it. <laughs> <laughs> so you made your plate, and that's what you should really concentrate on, is what's on your plate. Mm -hmm. And not try to be thinking, you know, when I know there's more food, I will already be thinking about getting, the se getting seconds. Did you ever have that? Does anybody have that problem? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that's why one of the ladies that is now really on the move, losing weight, is up to 30 pounds and had not lost any weight for like six months. She just was not. She just stopped cooking. But you know, we cook like our kids are still home. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't do that. I mean, we have to remember that. A lot of us will cook like there's other people in the house beside just two people. <laughs> There's just the two of you. You don't have to cook a pound of pasta. And if you're going to cook a pound of pasta, put it away and measure, your, measure out your serving. You know, this is a nice one. Dim the lights. It's just a little thing. But it really makes a nice little tr thing and, you know, a little music. It doesn't really hurt to do that. And I told this story before, but it's always worth repeating. One of the moms... Uh, she lives with her daughter, and she, I, we talked about this, and she went home, and she, she, got, she had uh, flowers, you know, plastic flowers. She put them on the table. She put a tablecloth. She had their emergency candles, which I find, because I have so many candles in my house, but she <laughs> has emergency candles, which is, you know, whatever. She lit them. And her and her daughter just sat and talked about school and, and had this beautiful dinner. And the daughter said, that was the best dinner I ever had. Can we do that, you know, oh, often? And honestly, what did she have to do to actually make it pleasant? Not and too much. <laughs> not, you don't have to do too much. No. Dim the lights, put the candles on, have some nice music in the background. It's not a big deal. If you're watching TV, that's a mistake to me because you're not – Sometimes connecting. it's little things that mean a lot, yes. you know, even if you don't have to put that much effort into it, but just the little things. And that's what people remember. And that's what that little girl remembered. She'll remember that. Yeah. Do we, well, then it was like, you know, when are we going to have this again? Yeah. Or should I set the table, Mommy? You know, that's what she yeah. would say. Yeah. And so I think, you know, in the end result, she got some candles, and every now and then she'd actually buy real flowers. Although, you know, you could use plastic flowers if you want, but, you know... It just would be nice occasionally to buy yourself a little bouquet. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's one that I don't get, but it's brush your teeth uh, when you finish eating. After e supper. After supper. See, that's great, but I'm not, uh, I'm not willing to not, I'm willing to brush my teeth again. <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> and I must brush my teeth about five times a day. So... I'm really willing to brush my teeth again, and I know that when I sat down, sit down to finally relax and watch TV, I'm going to have to have grapes and popcorn. Mm -hmm. So I can't really brush my teeth to the end. However, there is a good reason why you brush your teeth, and that is strictly, I mean, beside the regular reasons, um, is it tastes what it, what it takes the taste of whatever you had mm -hmm. for dinner yeah, out of your true. mouth, so that you don't feel like you have to go back. Right. Because believe me. Spaghetti sauce does not go good with, doesn't go well with uh, mint. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, understanding what a serving size is. Now, that's what we have behind us right here. Now, that's a steak. Up That's a steak, and that is a, um, that's the size of, like, your phone. Mm -hmm. That's what every, everything should be that size. A deck of cards, they use that, too, as one. But that's 226 calories, so you could have a, a you know, and that's not a, you know, that's not a big border house mm -hmm. or no, something like that. This is a little steak, but it's still 226 calories. And the least amount of steak that you can have, the better. 
But on the other hand, and why do we need to know about these portions? Just one last, one other thought before we get to this. I have a lot of friends that are vegetarians and vegans, and you know, you would think they would be really, really thin, wouldn't you? But they're not, because what's out of whack? No matter what you're eating, you have to count the calories. Right, exactly. I mean, they're eating really, really, really healthy, mm -hmm. but they're not counting the calories. And, you know, when you have 50 pounds on you, it doesn't matter if you're just, right. you're not just eating fruits and vegetables, you're eating a lot of carbs, mm -hmm. a lot of pasta, a lot of bread. You know, anything with vegans, it's anything that, you can't eat anything uh, with a mother. Mm -hmm. So right. no eggs, butter, cheese, any of that stuff. Right, and that's too hard for me. You can't even go out to dinner with a no, vegan. It's too difficult. But I would say as little meat as humanly possible would be really good. Cheese is like a matchbook. Uh, pancakes are the size of a DVD, which is a really good deal. Although when we were away in Pennsylvania this week, we had pancakes that were the size of, I don't know, what are, what were records records? Uh, oh yeah, the big seventy eight. Yeah, the big seventy <laughs> seventy eight. <laughs> they came on a platter like oh, this. Wow. I can't even tell you how unbelievable. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had real pancakes. They were so delicious. Everybody was in my plate. <laughs> Let me have some of that. And I was really grateful they were doing that because I would have eaten every bit of it. Okay, you know about the you know about the potatoes and the fish, and. Uh, the fish is the size of a checkbook. Uh, butter is a postage stamp. So that's for Sunday only. Only use butter. Don't use any fake no, anything. I don't like margarine. Brown rice is a, you know, it's 216 for calories for a cup, and it will not fill you up. And then uh, beans are 199 calories for a cup. So that will fill you up as opposed to rice. You're better off having half a cup of rice and a half a cup of beans mm -hmm. and mix those two things together. So just watch your portions this week and you will see a difference in you, your weight loss by just watching your portions. All right, have a healthy week and I will see you next week. Thank you for stopping by. Yay! Yay! You know portions. what I made? I made the pumpkin pancakes. That's what I had, pumpkin pancakes. They were so good. They were so good. But those were healthy ones, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They the, were very good. You have to sit.